squad and welcome back to my channel and you know it's your girl Yendi Chrissy here with a new video new and exciting video for you guys it's a highly requested video and today I will be doing an eyebrow tutorial for you girls or guys anybody yes because I'm I know guys are into this stuff as well you like to look well groomed nothing is wrong with you doing your eyebrows yes so let's get into this review welcome back to my channel glam nation how are you doing guys yes today i'll be doing a highly requested eyebrow tutorial it's been long overdue so let's jump right into this video you will be needing a spoolie everybody knows spoolie right yes a spoolie concealer i use la pro concealer in the shade fun and i use for the bottom part and i use on the top a darker shade la pro dark cocoa you will also be needing brow pencils whether it's the anchor pencil or you know my favorite mechanic coated or even the the dip brow yes i used to use the dip brow but i don't so just let's get started as you can see i already primed my eyebrows as i want them to stay in place so i use my milk of magnesia to prime them because i don't have a lot of brows okay so you're going to start out with the darker part because i told you already that you can coat it come with two is a two-sided pencil you have the lighter shade for this part and you have a darker shade for this part so when you are doing your brows you notice where my brow starts and where it stops and where the arches if you want to know exactly how to do it you can use your, 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 your spoolie or whatever you have to guide you your brow shouldn't pass right here this is the starting point point you want to, if you want to know where how high you should do your arch or where you should do your arch you use the pencil yes like this and the end part you go like this the end part should not be down here it should be where your eyes stop you see you have your nose to guide you so it's, remember start arch stop see that let me go again i'm going too far start lining up with your the, the, the end of your nose the, the side of your nose like this the arch the angle the pencil the, the, the spoolie sorry and then the end should have passed where your eye is so sometimes you see some people brows come right down here no it should be right here this is the easiest guideline so now i'm using the darker part to outline my brows and first i start right under the arch and i carry it right here to the tip and then i use a lighter shade now and go underneath see that did i start at the arch go down to the end see that and then i use back okay so now you got the, des the desired shape Let's go again, start, arch, stop, 
start arch stop so now I'm going to be filling it in because you already have the desired shape that you're going for so I'm using the darker shade at the end and I'm just filling in and I'm going to use the lighter shade now or you can even use let me use with the pencil use it like that tiny strokes because you don't want the front part to be too harsh you want it to look like your real brow like there's here so you take time and you fill it in and if you're going to use a pencil you just do the same thing like I did before okay. now you're taking a spoolie now and your brush upward motion then at the, when you come to the tip you just brush it out like this because you don't want any harsh line just take time and brush it out like this as you're getting rid of the arch line so now I'm going to use my fawn just to cut out my shape my desired shape that I'm going for I always draw my brows a little bigger than I want them so I can leave room for arrow because I will take up a lot of time and I start right under the arch see that so always always rest your hands on your face to help you to help guide you like this see this yes or you can go like this i'm coming out to the tip just take your time And please remember your eyebrows they are not twins don't think that um, you're going to get them perfect every time no but you try to get them both looking the same but you're not going to get them looking the same at all time you will be there for hours sometimes so try to get them looking um, I'm looking for a word try to get them looking as close to each other as possible but 90% of the time you won't get them to look the same sometimes you will get them to look the same but 90% of the time and I don't talk when I'm doing my brows I'm going in on the top let me just bring that down bring all the excess product down now I'm going to use my LA Pro concealer in the shade dark cocoa 
on the top area get a shade that is closer to your skin tone so you don't all right you use a lighter shade on the bottom but you you can use it on the top but sometimes it gives you a halo effect and we are not going for that halo effect it is not cute ladies so get a concealer that is closest to your skin tone so that it will look flawless and i always start right along here and up out just glide bring down all of the excessive products so at this point now I am going to barely bring a little product on my brush like that just barely and I'm going to use a blending brush to just blend out all the excessive products mm. or you can use the beauty blender then you're going to blend out the bottom part and if you don't want under the bottom part to be as light as mine you can use the, the darker shade on the both areas you don't have to do it like mine I suppose you just want your, you don't want to do a full face or you don't want you just want to do your eyebrows and go the darker part would be just right to do that but I like it light on the bottom and dark on the top okay so I'm going to do the the next one I'm going to do it with the pencil for all those who are using pencil. You see the pencil is so light. This one is big <laughs> because it's been ages I use pencil but I'm I just outlining to show you but I'm going to use my Sorry if I keep turning like that. Sorry about that. I'm going to fill it in again. I 
And you don't have to use um, a primer to do it, you know. But my skin is super oily, so that's why I use it. Okay, so I'm going to use my phone on the bottom again. Hope you all are sending over people because remember the competition is still going on thank you for those who have sent persons already i appreciate the love i really do remember you go underneath Just like that. Alright, sometimes you can outline like this. Like and and then you go right the right way. remember pull down all the excess here I have some concealer stuff right here don't worry just use your pencil and go over that let me turn because probably you're not seeing properly you just bring down all the excess bring down all the excess product you're hearing any little noise that's the fan okay and you're going to use the darker shade and see one of my eyebrows go up higher than the other I don't know why it just grows like that. I just have to work with it. When it comes to this one, I have to be like this. This one takes a lot of time. Because I'm right handed. See, it's way higher than that one. Way higher. See, I look like I got I got a eye job. <laughs> uh, what is, what's the name of the thing? They call it. a little higher sometimes I will have to go in and bring up this one just to match it but I don't want to do that today though Let me just 
this try and bring up this one a little bit I'm just going to go back in with this underneath the bottom here. And I'm going to go in back with my fawn. back in with the darker shade. Now so I'm just going to blend it out as I did that one over there. Remember I said they are not going to be perfect all the time but because they're not they're not um twins they're sisters always remember that your eyebrows are not twin they are sisters And I'm just going to blend out. Normally I use my brush to get rid of the arch lines right here.
just doing back some light strokes make it come together seamlessly yes that looks much better Just blending out all of that. And there you have it. Let me just finish blend out. It's not um, one of the best. So there you have it, simple and easy eyebrow tutorial. And let me let us do back the brow check. Yes, the bro check checks out well. You know me have to go in and do my little thing. Okay. And there you have it. I hope you learned something from this video and please comment down below what look next I should do. And ladies and gents, our Glam Nation, my squad, please remember the competition. It started it, it started on May the 3rd and it's going to end on the 30th of May. And on the 31st of May, I will announce the winner via Instagram. I will put my Instagram name somewhere here or here or over here yes and send over your friends and remember to tell them who, to write in the comment section who sent them and subscribe tell them to subscribe first then go over in the comment section and let me know who sent them yes because if they, they subscribe and they don't let me know who sent them i won't know who is, who is the winner so let them go over subscribe like the video and comment on underneath the video any one of the videos any one of the videos as long as they comment and say share sent me or serena sent me or ashley sent me or chrisan sent me or patrice sent me or chin sent me or anybody sent them once your name has been entered into the comment section you are quali are qualified to be a winner yes so let them go no, can with uh, any amount of time there was one person one person say like you said me i can only write chrissy said me one time one person can write the same person twice or more than one person said him it has to be one person yes and remember ear and makeup complete makeover ear and makeup courtesy of the ear i have a sponsor for the ear quick and fast if you're in the portmore area and you don't want to go out you want um a courier service to go and get your stuff on the road or deliver 
to you, you can call quick on service. Their service is fast and reliable. Let me give you their number. Quick and fast. Over in Portmore, they deliver to Spanish Town, Kingston and St. Andrew area, Portmore. And the number is hold on. The number is you can text, you can email, you can I will I will put their number in the description box below. But you can text them at 864-5038. That's 864-5038. And you can also email them your, your order, WhatsApp them your order at quick and fast limited at J quick and fast ltd at gmail.com yes and you can also send them a video chat at quick and fast yes and this is their instagram page quick and fast quick and fast they deliver they do your grocery shopping they pay your bills. They do a lot of stuff. They're, and they are reliable, fast service. Quick and fast. Over in the Portmore area. They are a trustworthy courier service. And they do take cards. They do take cards. Yes, and they are one of the sponsors for the competition. They are sponsoring a 30-inch ponytail ear for the competition. Yes, and I am doing the makeup and the ear as well. So any makeup of your choice. Yes. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this video yes thank you again guys and remember to be safe